Hello guys, welcome to the channel. We're gonna talk about the Orlando Pirates coach who couldn't hold back his disappointment after Orlando Pirates failed to beat Skukune United away from home and are going home empty-handed. Coach Roland Mukwena makes a bold statement after the game against Young Africans. He says that uh, after the draw, they are definitely gonna go to the semi-finals. He says he's focusing on his Richards Bay, but they will definitely go on uh, to the next round, which is the semi-finals of the CAF Champions League. Let's start with the Orlando Pirates coach, who says Wuti after. You know, let me just start at the beginning. He says that it was a shy beginning, you know, of the game, even though we had all the time and space to progress through, you know, the central corridor. We were shy. We were very shy on the ball. It was going uh, it, it was going to the side and the side, you know, where's Kukune uh, for Kukune to stop us rather. So we were not playing at the rhythm that we were expecting to play in the beginning after we considered the goal there was a reaction in the team but we were already one nil down i think from the moment that we considered the goal we were very superior to our opponents until the end second half same story but again we passed to a central corridor to mabasa then i don't know what happened there you know probably you do we concede the second goal in one transition and from there it was the same story of the game pirates attacking skukune kicking the ball away and wasting time we tried our best we had chances we couldn't put the ball in the net they started scoring goals 2-1 zero points for pirates you know so yeah the alone pirates coach really is not happy with that you know and it is what it is you know and yeah the coach must have and uh, he must have different kind of plans sometimes they come in a different format they come in a different system you must be able to react to that for example lindam tambo just revealed with i was i we changed it we changed how i'm played i was now played as a false nine you know and look he got an assist and a goal Coach Ruan Mukwena says Uti, we are gonna go to the next round, which is obviously the semi-finals, you know. After they drew with the Yanga, I must say that Yanga, I was very impressed with how they played, and I think they could have even scored a goal or two against Sundowns last night. They played very well. I didn't expect them to really give Sundowns a hard time in that game. I thought Sundowns was gonna easily win the game, but hey, football, ne? He says Guti, yes, of course. I think we will see Sundowns in the next round get that he's saying that he say i'm very confident about uh, that in fact what's the plan now the plan now is to get home safe rest drink a lot of water sleep analyze the game and prepare for richard's pay we've got a very important league game on tuesday so that is the plan for now you get that guys definitely we are going to the next round so sundowns have it all to do some will say it's an advantage some will say it's a disadvantage is it an advantage for young that they didn't consider home Definitely, because whatever that they score, if they score one, Sundowns must double it. If they score two, Sundowns must, hey, it's not going to be easy. So Sundowns can still win if they win the game. But the moment that Younger scores, they must make sure they don't allow them to score. Because if the Younger scores, then it's a big advantage for them because Sundowns fail to score away from home. So the away goal rule will apply. And we know how Sundowns has been uh, in the past, you know, failed to go through because of that. So all the best.